Hi, I believe this is video number 26 in my series. If you haven't seen some of the other videos, I encourage you to take a look at it. Um, I try and make one every couple of months. And uh, this one I'm making for the occasion of the anniversary, uh, which just passed a couple of days ago, two years since my radical prostatectomy. And uh, I'm still here, obviously. Uh, I have no discernible effects from the cancer itself, even though if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I have stage 4 prostate cancer because even though they removed the gland, they found the cancer already on the outside in a lymph node. So I've been taking um, hormone deprivation treatments. Every three months I get a shot and uh, the side effects have been severe to say the least. And everybody, the side effects affects them differently I'm in a number of uh, support groups. So uh, I can only say, you know, for myself. And so uh, uh, the, uh, the Kaiser plan where I am came out with a, an intermittent, intermittent program that they encouraged me to go on and everybody. And uh, even my oncologist at that time at Kaiser said the main reason was for that is because they're saving money. I guess these three month shots are very expensive. And even though they denied it, he said, nah, hey, uh, the, the reason for the, the intermittent treatment is to, to save money. But my own research showed that uh, uh, there didn't seem to be much difference because I've been on it a year and a half already. Uh, between the intermittent and the continuous treatment. So I've gone on the intermittent. I haven't had a shot. I missed three shots now for, so for nine months without a shot about. And uh, uh, they, they do their uh, program on measuring the testosterone level. When it hits 50, they're gonna recommend a shot. My last three month test, mine was 45. So I'm sure this one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be over 50. They're gonna recommend a shot. But I've managed in these two years to keep my PSA undetectable, virtually undetectable at zero. And I don't know if it's just pure luck or because I've changed my diet, radically changed my diet, or the supplements and uh, uh, vitamins that I take uh, and the exercise that I'm doing has all contributed. I, I hope so, I don't know. And um, so I think rather than get the shot because of the severe side effects, I, even though my testosterone will, I'm sure, be over that, I probably will pass and uh, instead of basing it on testosterone, base it on uh, my PSA level. If the PSA level, and I, I talked to a doctor who I originally went to back at the uh, National Institute of Health in uh, Bethesda, Maryland, and he said uh, that he'd probably go with that same program wait to see if PSA moves up and moves up to one or two and then go back on the uh, on the shots because who knows I might be able to stay off this for you know another six months maybe another year another two years you don't know and uh, so I, I am, I'm pretty sure that I'm leaning that way and now with that said I do want to make a correction and say that uh, uh, somebody left a comment on one of my other videos talking about the radical prostatectomy, prostate, prostatectomy surgery, uh, prostatectomy surgery, uh, where I made it sound like a piece of cake. Hey, if I did, I'm sorry. For me, I got conditioned for it. It was no piece of cake, let me tell you. Uh, just to get mentally prepared for sticking five robotic arms inside you and two doctors there and you're knocked out, you're kind of on an angle, they're, they're breathing for you through machines. Hey. Even thinking back at the whole situation, <laughs> I don't know how I could have done it or if I could do it again. So uh, uh, I have no regrets that I did it because the prostate when it came out was 20% uh, occupied by a tumor. And uh, so that's gone and uh, I'm still surviving. Uh, but unfortunately with stage four prostate cancer. So uh, uh, I'm trying to keep it down Hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of research going on, new treatments, uh, new drugs coming out, and uh, hey, that's a hope out there that maybe they'll have something that can postpone it longer. And uh, that's where I am. So I just want to say, if, uh, if you haven't seen my prior videos, hey, take the time, go back, take a look at them, 
and uh, leave your comments. Uh, I appreciate them all and I read them all. The top URL address here is the uh, link directly to our medical research uh, site. Uh, the bottom link is a direct link where we have this whole series of uh, prostate cancer videos. So either way, if you use the smaller of the two links, and hopefully it, it'll be an active link in the description under this video, you can just click on it. If not, just copy and paste it into your browser, and then I'll show you in the next slides exactly what, where you have to go. But it's pretty simple. This is the front page of our site. Either click that red button that the arrow is pointing to, or you can click on the uh, medical research button on the left. This is the second page showing the medical research studies. Just it's alphabetical order. Just scroll down till you see prostate cancer and click on that. Okay, now you see the different types of prostate cancer surgeries listed on the left. The bottom button says prostate videos. That's the one to click on. On the left-hand column, the videos are listed in uh, uh, chronological order, and also in the center of the page, the videos are listed in numerical order. Hey, thanks again for listening.